And so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness in those who have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth. May you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Peplo, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on in Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them. My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation from the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow children of Israel, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out. And for about 40 years he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed 
seven nations in the land of whom he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel, the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Cush, a man from the tribe of Benjamin for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From, from this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals from his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia. faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, Blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might be fulfilled. The one who in my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever receives the one I send, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. 
in a family, there will always be times where there will always be uh, discussions and there will be misunderstandings, different of opinions, parents, different opinion with their children, or different opinion with their grandparents. How do we overcome this kind of uh, situation when um, somebody probably hurt or had a bad feeling inside them? Or how do we uh, take care of those who cause us sadness or hurt us because of the words that they have said? Most especially if those that cause harm to us are very close to us or close to our friend. Our Lord uh, Jesus Christ during the Last uh, Supper, He addressed these issues of uh, relationship, this loyalty or even uh, infidelity. He knew beforehand that one of his uh, disciples would betray him. Such knowledge would have easily led uh, Jesus to distance himself from such a person, to protect himself from harm's way. You know, I told you about this priest who left ministry because he said I would like to protect my priesthood so I'm going to go away. And sometimes that's what I do also. If some people hurt me I try to distance myself from that person so that there, it wouldn't escalate. But that's not what the Lord did. Instead of distancing himself to the apostle whom he knew that would betray him. Instead, he expresses love. He expresses affection and loyalty to those who were his own. Even to the one he knew that would betray him. Jesus used this um, quotation from Psalm 4, 9, which describes an act of treachery by one's closest friend. You know, the time, during the time of Jesus, the culture is always that to eat uh, bread with friends or to share uh, whatever you have in the table is a gesture of friendship and trust. And I think that continues to this day when we invite friends to come to our house to share and partake in family uh, meal. That also says uh, that you trust that person, that there is that gesture of uh, close friendship Jesus extends us friendship to Judas at that moment. When Judas is conspiring to betray his master, Jesus allowed him to share his bread. This act is not easy for us human beings because our tendency really is to distance ourselves from that person so that uh, it would uh, escalate the misunderstanding. If somebody will not like us, we tend to distance ourselves from them. If somebody causes us harm, the more that we have that tendency to avoid that person. God showed us the way when things are not right. He loves us so much to the end and 
he had proved that faithfulness already by sacrificing himself. Uh, proved his faithfulness to us for uh, he loves us so much that he gave his life to save us from death and darkness of our sin. Through his death and resurrection, the Lord opened a new way of a new kind of friendship, friendship with God. Jesus tells his followers that if they accept him, they will accept also the Father who sent him. And if we refuse his words, or if we just take it lightly, as I said yesterday, then we remain in darkness, in the spiritual darkness. The Lord made it clear that he did not come to contempt us but to bring abundant life, to save us, to free us from darkness of sin. And we condemn ourselves if we distance ourselves from God. When we reject God's word and truth, His life and wisdom, as I've said yesterday, it is one thing to be to know nothing, to live in ignorance due to lack of understanding and knowledge about God, but it is another thing if we already knew uh, the truth, the very source of truth who is uh, Christ himself. There will always be um, rewards to those who follow commandments and his words and there is also consequence of our actions if we go um, away from what the Lord wants us to do. To love him first, to love our neighbors, our brothers and sisters as our response to him who loves us first. To accept the Lord's message is to accept our Father in heaven, for He is the one who sent Him to save us. The great honor and the great responsibility as follower of Christ is to stand in the world for Jesus Christ, to stand for what is right, to stand for what the Church teaches us. Just like what we saw, uh, poor little, uh, poor little sisters of the poor, they are battling right now because during the previous administration they were uh, told to give uh, to a fortune to their workers as part of the. Monday, but they fight for that because they could not take that uh, abortion would be part in their uh, ministry. So it's being discussed right now in the, in the Supreme Court. So we pray for them that they will be heard for he stand really for what is right. Today we ask ourselves, did I stand for Jesus at the cross of humiliation, rejection, opposition, and suffering? So as we come forward and receive the body and blood of Christ, we cannot receive the blood for now, but as we come forward and receive Him, uh, we ask Him to strengthen us. Lighten to be Christ like, that we truly love the Lord and that we fully serve Him by serving others. We 
say. And now we pray for our church, for our country, and for ourselves as we continue to pray for the intentions of our Holy Father and our Bishop. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all our prisoners here in Susanville and in Herlock and in Lassen County that we all be protected from danger and harm of the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray also for the special intentions of Rosila Noro Cardenas, Rosario Villanueva, Billy Lampati, Pati Antoinette Dolso, Maria Bailey, and Gina Banyalos Sarayeta. We pray to the Lord. Lord for healing, for Leonora Gess, for Shane, for Mike Stoll, and for Sosa and Lady Joseph. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray also for all those who are homebound, those who are sick, especially those whose names are written in our church bulletin. We pray to the Lord. Lord and in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own personal special intentions. We pray also for the repose of the souls of uh, Claudius, Nueva, all those who have died in our community. We pray also for all those who are sick with coronavirus, those who are dying, as we continue also to pray for our frontliners, all medical workers. We pray to the Lord. And for the intentions of dealing of Pixel, Maria Dolores Campos, and for the people of Boluarte and Tabuluan, we pray to the Lord. Lord and all these prayers and intentions we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy truths. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, 
so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with an angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Gather with Francis, our Pope, Jaime, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember, O oh Lord, especially all those who died because of the coronavirus, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her church spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have been to throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the same year's command of form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. For all those watching this live streaming and cannot receive Christ in the Holy Communion, please join me in this spiritual communion prayer. In union, dear Lord, with the priest of every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father, I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I present to you my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may be always united to you. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. 
Will it nothing ever separate you from me? If you live but die in your love. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who will restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless everyone, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. May God bless also all those who are watching this uh, live streaming. And uh, have a blessed Thursday, everyone. Come to the peace of heaven on earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide all that we need here. to drink without price my feast of gladness will feed your spirit with faith and fullness of life
Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Thank you, everyone. Thank you also for all those who are watching and praying with us in this live streaming. Thank you, everyone.